Hi, my name's Rachel and welcome to How to Connect to the Goddess Morrigan. Morrigan is the Irish goddess of death, particularly death on the battlefield, of battle, of war, of courage as well, and also passion and a threshold. She's particularly well known for her appearances, her epiphanies in Irish mythology. However, she was known all over the Celtic world. She can support you with accessing and accepting your own personal power and all the ways in which you are powerful so that you can utilise it. She will also support you and guide you if you are going through any threshold of any kind, those places of transition where you are moving through the portal of death and rebirth. So here are my top three tips for connecting to her. My first tip is to connect to her as a goddess of threshold, as the goddess of battle and death on the battlefield. She would govern war and battle and war and battle are times of change, of transition. And often when she appeared, it was, you know, to support a particular side or a particular hero, but it's always a way of ushering in the new and letting go of the old. And so she may appear to you when you are going through your own threshold, whether that be one of the seasons of your own personal seasons, you know, any life, death, rebirth portal in your own life. Even times such as the dark moon, letting go of jobs, transforming a relationship, anything like that. She may appear to you or you may want to seek her out during this time as an ally and a guide. Now, on the battlefield, she often appeared as a crow or a raven, and she would be above the battle or sometimes even on the shoulders of her warriors. You think about the crow, it's symbolic of being above, of seeing all, of seeing the whole battle, not just the place where you are. And so she teaches us about perspective. So the crow can see all that is going on, all aspects, not just this tunnel vision, but everything that has to be considered. So when we're going through threshold, like the warrior, she wants you to know what is behind, know what is present here, also what is forward, both literally, physically and symbology, symbolically as well. So you know, the warrior knows behind him is all of that training, all the experiences he's had before, all that has been. He's very present to what he is doing. And also he has a forward view as well where he's going. So the forward view can be about the hope. The past can be about the determination and the present can be about grounding. So if you're finding yourself at threshold, then connect to her as the crow or the raven and honour her as that animal. My second tip is to connect to power. She is a powerful goddess. She is known for this, creating powerful change and initiating it in your life. And she invites you to step into your own power to fully embrace it. It can be something that we resist or that we deny, but you are powerful, truly powerful beyond all the ways that you could conclude and judge. Now, why would you want to accept your power? Well, because once you know something, you can then use it. Once you know it well, it can become a tool to be used for better things. And there are reasons that, that need you to be powerful, such as love, justice, freedom, making change for the better, whether for yourself or for the world or humanity or the universe. If you're stepping into your power, standing in your power, you can create the change, <clears throat> change from a place of knowledge, of understanding of both self and what is around you. So I have an activity for you to do. I want you to get a piece of paper or your journal and to write 10 to 30 ways or as many as you can ways that you are powerful and I really want you to think about this because it may not be what you think it may you may think about the strength you know of a physical body like you know a big bulky man but think about all the other ways that you are uniquely powerful so I have some examples for you so I have the gift of free speech that is a power I am a loving kind and caring person that's probably the most powerful thing you could ever be I don't allow myself to care about the judgments of others. That's also a power. So list and explore your own unique ways of being powerful. 
My third tip is to connect to her particular animal totem, the wolf. Now, in Irish mythology, she often manifests as a wolf that is white and red. And in much Celtic mythology, you know, white and red would denote that that, that being, that creature, was of the other world. It was shown that it was different, you know, whether it was a cow or a raven or a wolf or a deer, it would denote that it was special, that it was unique, that it was a messenger or a guide from the other world. As the symbolic kind of archetype essence or energy of grandmother wolf which she embodies she often appears as the black wolf and this is the one that i explore mostly in my work with wolves and in my books so she may appear to you as either of those two depending on which way that you need to or want to work with her but either way the wolf is a creature, an animal that is of a threshold, that is of initiation. And in particular, in approaching that, they symbolise and will inspire in you and will help manifest in you ferocity and courage. They are ferocious. They are, you know, courageous. They are a predator. They have that power and they will teach you how to kind of use that to embody that and um, to bring it forth in your own self. So I share more about Morrigan as Wolf in my book, Wolf. You know, there's a whole section on her in here. I explore her mythology and her symbology and all the ways that she can help you as Grandmother Wolf. I explore the archetype of Grandmother Wolf further in this as well. So please do check that out. I'm a best-selling author of goddess mythology i will put a link below about all my books but i hope this short video this introduction has supported you or inspired you to work more with the morrigan please subscribe any comments any questions then please just pop them below i look forward to connecting more and supporting you more on this journey so many many blessings for you and your continued journey with the powerful and beautiful